Sugar Babies, a younger individual in a mutually beneficial relationship with a much wealthier and older benefactor known as a sugar mama or sugar daddy. The most famous early examples of sugar babies were royal mistresses. These women were financially supported by kings and emperors in exchange for casual, romantic, and often sexual relationships. In the past 10 years, however, the sugar baby community has exploded online, with young adults making substantial incomes by sugar dating older, wealthier men and women. My name's Anthony Padilla, and today I'm gonna be sitting down with sugar babies to find out the truth behind the sugar dating community in the 21st century. Are these sugar babies proud of their artificial relationships with their sugar daddies? Or do they live double lives, hiding in the shadows of society? Is sugaring a symbiotic agreement for lonely and time deficient wealthy adults to have a temporary partner? Or is it an illegal underground ring of prostitution run by sex addicted moguls looking to take advantage of America's wealth gap? Hey, Marcus. Hi, how hey. are you? Holly. Yes. Laura. Nice to meet you. Hello. Thank you so much for coming out and Thank teaching me you. a little about the wondrous world of being a sugar baby. <laughs> Thank you for having me on here. I'm and excited. What do you consider yourself? A sugar baby? Uh, someone who just makes very smart financial decisions? Mm, a reliable companion. A reliable <laughs> companion. I consider myself someone that makes very smart financial decisions. <laughs> a little bit of both. Little bit of both. I saved a lot of the money that was wired to me. So you asked me to pixelate your face for this interview, why is that? Well, for my family, for one, and um, also probably safety purposes, because mm -hmm. he was kind of crazy, maybe involved in the mob. What? How long have you been a sugar baby? Going on four years now. June until May of this year. I've been doing this for two years. I had one sugar dad for a whole year, and I came across these two sugar dads that are best friends. Oh. <laughs> so I get double the fun. Double the daddy. <laughs> yes. The people that pay you for your services. What do you call them? Ass Ass <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to really call it sugar daddy. You know, I like to give it a little bit more on the professional side of yeah. a sponsor. I'd rather a call sponsor. Them a sponsor. Why specifically are you a sugar baby? I was working at a dispensary here yeah. and stripping on the weekends. Mm -hmm. And that's when I came across those two that, I'm, that I have right now. And what was your role in this situation? Controlling his money, who gets it, bringing in product cutting products. <laughs> so he was a drug dealer. No, he was buying it. Can you run me through a typical day as a sugar baby? So a sober version of him, we would just, you know, wake up, go to breakfast, go shopping, spend a ton of money, go have lunch, do some more shopping, yeah. then have dinner, go to bed early, wake right. up and do the same thing the next day. And what was the non-sober version like? A lot of cocaine. I would say three to five girls a day. He would be with three to five girls a day? Yes. A lot of room service. Always hotels then? Yes. Always hotels. What's the most extravagant thing you've ever received? Well, he wired me 17,500 once. I got upset with him and I was like, I'm f you, I'm gonna leave. I'm tired of your shit. I don't wanna deal with other girls' drama. And then he was like, okay, what do you want? And he's like, 20,000. And I'm like, you would never. And he actually wired me 17,500. <laughs> wow. Have you ever grown feelings for your sugar daddy? I did actually, I did. I was in love with him, which is why I tolerated him. I thought that he would get sober. He said I was the only person that could get him sober. And that's why I was around and that's why I got all these things, blah, blah, blah. And then he's had some tragedies in his life. So I definitely felt bad for him. As soon as I start to get a connection, you know, then it's just like, okay, well, like, what could I do differently to not get that, you know, because that's not what I'm looking for. You're you know you I try mean? to prevent yourself from oh, feeling a connection with someone? Yes, of course. You, know? you want to keep it very I want to keep it very professional, you know, because yeah. like, then if I sit there and I let them think that they could go and try to love me, then that's when they start to lower down the race, and it's like, honey, no, that's not the case, you know? You are like, literally you know trying I mean? to avoid love. <laughs> yes. Because you want to get paid more money. Yes, exactly, and that's just how it works. What do your parents think about your job as a sugar baby? My mom thinks it's scary. She does yeah. get worried. She calls me all the time. Mm. Are you okay? Is everything all right? I have really amazing parents. You know, they're very supportive, you know, yeah. and all they, all they ask of me is that I stay safe, you know? Why do you think people assume sugar babies are just practicing a legal form of prostitution? 
being a sugar baby, you don't always have to do sexual performances, you know? There yeah. are, there's are some people that are just creeps that are like to freaking sit there and just stare at you while they have a dinner, you know? I don't know why they would, because if you're sleeping with the same person, for months or years or whatever, and you're getting paid for it. I mean, a prostitute is someone that's on the street, right? And they'll just f anybody for any money. Mm -hmm. So sugar baby, I would feel like, is different and I would never call one a prostitute. The difference is that they don't pay you in just money. And I feel like prostitution, like you just, you can leave mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. money and there you're gone. Right, but, and it's a one-time thing usually. Mm -hmm. And with this, like you're actually building a relationship with somebody, mm -hmm. you're getting to know them, they're mm -hmm. getting to know you and there's more than just money involved. So prostitution is basically freelance work and <laughs> sugar babies are basically employed, salaried employees. Yes. Is there a safety word while sugaring or do you just kind of have to say yes to everything? No, um, definitely there, um, there is a safety word, it's called no. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> no, there is a safety word, definitely, and it's called no. There's no safe word, but you are able to say no. Mm -hmm. Like if, like the other day he wanted to try Mm -hmm. I've never done anything, and I was like, no, we're not doing that. Did putting your foot down, like, cause any stir? A little bit. He kind of, he bought me a cheaper car than expected. <laughs> How many sugar daddies can you have at once? Oof. Well, right now I have two. Yeah. I feel like if I really tried, I can probably squeeze in, like, five more. Five more? <laughs> Just one a day, forever, always? Don't give me ideas. Do you mind saying how much you typically charge? Obviously, it's no less than $600, you know? $600 that's for one night? Either be at dinner, you know, or if you were going back to your place, that's double. How much money do you think you've made from sugaring so far in, the, in, in your life? 80 grand. A hundred thousand a year. A hundred thousand a year. Because with gifts and cars, dinner dates. Fifty thousand. That's in eleven months, but that's not including cash that he gave me all the time. So I probably made like a hundred, hundred twenty in about like eleven months, something like that. Plus gifts. Plus gifts, yeah. How would your life be different if sugaring wasn't an option? Probably be living paycheck to paycheck, struggling. Yeah. yeah. The average life, and I've I've done that, you know, and I I've, yeah. I've been working since I was sixteen. I didn't start doing this until like two years ago. I'm 23 now, so yeah, I would definitely be struggling really bad. Has sugaring ever affected any of your romantic relationships? Of course, of course. Yeah. I basically don't have one. You can't have one? I mean, I can. These ones, they do let me date if I wanted to, Yeah. but it's just so hard because I feel like I give so much of myself to them mm -hmm. that at the end of the day, I don't have anything left to give anyone else. Are you ever severely unattracted to one of your sponsors. Half of them. Half yes. of them? Because these people are older. You know, and then some of them are just like, I could see why I could see why you need to pay somebody to sit here and talk to you, you know? I'm like, damn, you know, call him handsome if you want, you know? Oh, you're so handsome, you know? He's like, really? I don't get told that a lot. Well, oop, I can see why, you know? <laughs> like I can see why. <laughs> How much acting do you feel like you need to do in a typical sugar baby experience. I'm not gonna lie, as harsh as it sounds, sometimes I don't care about the things that you wanna talk to me about. One of them loves gardening, so he's yeah. always talking about like, this. he's putting out this new grass and he's excited about it. And yeah. I'm just like, man, f your grass. <laughs> <laughs> what quality makes someone a good sugar baby? Your looks. It's all Number looks? One. That's it? Number one. They're paying for a fantasy. They're paying for something that they can't have, so money money lets them have that. Hun Bun Draws Things wants to know what the most awkward situation you've ever found yourself in. He got high and he was like, I'm horny, and I'm like, okay, what do you want me to do about it? Like, <laughs> what the f yeah. So he's like, if I call this girl, will you watch me have sex? And I was like, no, absolutely not. If I could go back, I'd have said yes. For another 4,500, I will watch you have sex. But I was kind of like, I wasn't as crazy back then. So I was like, no, absolutely not. How dare you? Oh my God, I started crying. I've even had some times where somebody liked to rub their fingers through my toes. That, Whoa. Was, that, that was a fetish. Are they like, just are like, they, is it like this it with your toes? Yeah, that was, no, that was literally like that. No, they were just like rubbing on like that. Oh, they're exactly. doing this yeah, with yeah, your toes? Like, and they're like, oh, I feel so soft. I'm just like, <laughs> and then their old skin's all rubbing up against oh, you. Oh, the their skin's like, like falling off. Yeah, it's all falling off. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie wants to know what the most dangerous situation is that you found yourself in with a sugar daddy. When he was on no sleep for about two weeks on two separate occasions, 
and physically attacked me and I was by myself and took my phone away so I couldn't call the cops. Literally thought I was gonna die. So pulling hair, choking, strangling, yeah, all that. Wow. And then not letting me leave until the marks went away. So basically holding me hostage. And then there's nothing you can do. And that's not why he's in jail? I heard he's in jail because he had two girls in his apartment and one of them called the police on him, so it had to have been an abuse because there's no other reason why they would have called. Do you have a financial end goal for being a sugar baby or do you hope to do this till the day you die? No, no, I hope to do this until I don't have to. So my goal is to just get myself in a position to where I don't need them anymore neither. Yeah. And yeah. after that, it's quits. Because I do know that there's females that do this for years and years and years. And I'm already on my second year and I'm like, man, like, I can't do this much longer. What is it about being a sugar baby that gives you most joy? My bills are paid, I'm stress free, and I can just focus on what I have to focus on. With my job and the money that I make right now, mm -hmm. I help my parents with bills, because I don't have bills. Yeah. So I just yeah. send money to them, I buy my niece and my nephew clothes, and yeah. you're taking my care. Goes. You're taking care of your family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm and you're really putting it out there. You're putting yourself out there. Oh yeah, they better they better realize this. They're gonna watch this. <laughs> and when I see these people, I see dollar signs. And when I see dollar signs, I see nice bags. I see nice glasses. I see nice shoes. I see all of it. So you see capitalism taking over your brain. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a parting gift for you. Something hey. that would be uh, hey. perfect on your next uh, sugaring excursion. <laughs> Daddy, please, I'll do anything for that shirt. <laughs> At thedildoshop.com, you don't need to do anything. You just need to spend a couple bucks. Yes. Thank you. Oh my God, really? I'm grateful for the little things. For that, the, wow. Hi, sugar babies and sugar daddies. Um, can you please subscribe to Anthony Padilla's YouTube channel? Can you? No. All right, you got five seconds to shout out, promote anything you want directly to camera. Go. Follow me on Instagram at marcus.griego. Happy birthday to my friend TJ. He's a really good musician. I want to shout out this shirt one more time. <laughs> Thank you Thank so you. much. I feel like That's I fully cool. understand the wondrous world of sugar babies. After spending the day with these sugar babies, I've come to realize how much emotional and physical work goes into this profession in order to support themselves. In a society where sex sells and money literally moves mountains, who are we to blame these sugar babies for reclaiming their power over a system that put them in this position to begin with. See you later, bye guys. Press a like. If you guys subscribe to his channel, I will send you a nude. <laughs> it might not be mine. <laughs>